The forecast for the Easter weekend was not hopeful of good sailing for Rourke's Easter challenge, and Friday morning seemed to confirm the worst fears, with cold and very windy conditions. But by the time of the first start, the weather had relented somewhat, and in fact the weekend turned out to be much better than expected. Rourke's Easter Challenge, this year without a sponsor, is the perfect start of season regatta, where the only prizes are Easter eggs, but the real benefit is in having on-the-water coaches, led by Jim Saltonstall, who provide valuable debriefs at the end of the day. With the Rolex Commodore's Cup in the calendar for August, there were several crews here who had their eyes set on making one of the home or overseas teams which will compete in that event. The 64 boats were split into six classes, ranging from the four big boats in the Super Zero class to the three little quarter tonners. The Super Zero class included three TP-52s, Team Origin's Rio, Johnny Vincent's Pace and the British Keelboat Academy's John Merrick's Two, plus the FAR-52 Bob. Bob is the old bear of Britain, now refitted and owned by a consortium of three, including Rob Gray, who was skippering her this weekend. Unsurprisingly, Britain's America's Cup team, with three Olympic gold medalists on board and led by Ben Ainsley, took Charles Dunstan's Rio to a clear class win with six firsts and a second. Pace won race four when Rio blew a sail, but otherwise scored a string of seconds for second overall, while Bob sailed well to take third. Team Origin have a new 1K design TP52 for the Med Cup season, and they were using this regatta as a training event on home waters. Nicholas Senstrom drove his new RAN, a FAR 45, to four firsts in the seven race no discard regatta and came out on top of the 12 boats in class zero after a great battle with Anthony O'Leary's Kerr 39 antics. Neil Martin's J133 Jammy Dodger sailed a consistent regatta to take third overall by just one point from Tim Costello's Mills 43 Tiamat. In Class 1, Christopher Opilock's Corby 36 Rock All 3, complete with its U-boat-like camouflage, had an impressive string of six firsts but gear failure put them out of race two and cost them the overall class win. That went to Connor Phelan's Kerr 37 Jump Juice, which scored four seconds, a third and a seventh, to go with their win in race two. Five points behind in third came Andrew Ayer's first 40.7 Porsche, the best of the five 40.7s in the 13 boat class. One boat that should have been in this class but didn't make it was Peter Rutter's brand new Grand Soleil 43 Quokka 8, but its rig failed when they hoisted sail on its very first outing just before the regatta. The charity Tow in the Water, which uses sailing to help injured servicemen rehabilitate, had two boats in the regatta. The largest, Big Tow, was the A40 sailed by Brian Thompson, and they finished an impressive fourth in Class 1. The first day we were lying second overall, and we dropped to fourth on the second day but and stayed fourth on the third day and that's pretty good out of mm. 14 boats for a team that have uh, never ever sailed before the day before the race mm. and also uh, many of them had never ever been on a boat before that's great and as a sailor as a racing sailor it, it, that extra challenge of, of teaching people and gelling a team together is really interesting something I like doing and, among the 19 boats in Class 2, Peter Schofield's HOD 35 Sea Track's worst result was third, which is an impressive result for a boat designed 14 years ago. They also scored three firsts and two seconds to take the class win by four and a half points from Chris and Hannah Neves' first 35 No Chance. No Chance also scored three firsts, but weren't quite so consistent as Sea Track. In third was David Riley's Corby 33 No Retreat. Toe in the Water's J190, otherwise known as Little Toe, took eighth in this class with Di Cafari at the helm. 
it's um, been fantastic. I did one event with them last year and I've known about them and I've seen them out on the water. And then I was invited with Brian Thompson to become um, their ambassador. And so now I get to partake in the events with the guys as much as my calendar allows. And it really is an inspiration for me, let alone everybody else that sees them out there performing on the water. It's brilliant because sailing as a sport really allows anybody, able-bodied and disabled, to C compete on the same level, even playing field, and it really makes no difference. And the guys are there as active crew on the boat. There's no passengers involved with towing the water at all, and it really is a team effort, and it allows them to get back into competitive sailing and feel valued in that teamwork and that environment that that's what they were used to as well. The 12 boats in Class 3 were shown the way home in every race by Adam Gosling's Corby 36 Yes, which really enjoyed the conditions to take seven straight bullets. Behind Jess, Robert Baker's X322 Brightwork took second overall, while the British Keelboat Academy's J80, helmed by Mark Lees, was third. There were only three quarter tonners in the regatta, and really there was no competition for Louise Morton's Espada. This well sorted boat and crew enjoyed the breeze and won every race by at least three minutes. Runaway bus took second in every race, leaving the Dutch quarter tonner the itch to bring up the rear. The Easter Challenge was a great success, not least for the cow's base designer John Corby. John had no less than eight of his designs in the regatta, that's about 12% of the fleet, and they scored third in class two, second in class one, and first in class three. That makes for one very happy designer. So that's it from the first event of our summer season. We'll see you soon with some more great Solent racing.